Oh yeah, I heard that every day of my life. <laughs> quit being a wussy. My dad didn't mean it like a lot of parents mean it. Your kid hits his head on the coffee table, quit being a wussy. My father meant, if I got my arm ripped off <laughs> by a combine in a cornfield, my father would find the arm, get some duct tape, strap the arm back on. All right, go play it. Quit being a wussy. Thank you, Father. I'm so much better now. <laughs> Never more wussy shall I be. <laughs> I can still try it for the soccer team. <laughs> Although not goalie. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I was raised by Dad for other reasons. You can learn stuff from a father as a son. You can never learn from Mom. Special things, important things, like never challenge dad to a fist fight. Because <laughs> fighting dad's not a fight. Fighting dad is, hi, you've just instigated your own mugging. Come on down. <laughs> Guys, what is it about that last post you best and burst of male hormones? Because one day you're fine with your dad. Next day you wake up, you're like 16, look across the room, and all you can think is... <laughs> oh... What does he do, man? Look at him. Just sitting there, couch going out the back of his head. Oh, I bet I could kick his ass. <laughs> Thought my dad was lazy. Turns out he was just resting up. <laughs> yeah, we had been having those real deep philosophical father-son arguments. The ones that always ended, I did not lose your crescent wrench. You're such a dickwad. <laughs> We got louder and louder. My stepmom jumped between us. Hey, both of you! <sighs> no clinching, no hitting, blow the belt, go. <laughs> and then I decided to cross that man boy line. Got right in my dad's face. Look! By the way, great way to fight. Arms down, face presented. <laughs> I'm tired of your crap. <laughs> I got some moves now, huh? I'm not seven anymore, am I? Come on, me and you, old man. Except I only got out old mwah. <laughs> I woke to an EKG machine beeping. <laughs> Dad standing over me. I'm not gonna do that again, are you? You want to fight like a man, you better start drinking like one. <laughs> Quit being a wicked! <laughs> of course, then it, well, here's the weird part, is after I fought my dad, all of a sudden we're buddies now. Like he's my friend now, we start hanging out. But we're still the same people, so we'd go out on Sunday, you know, and just be hanging out, then he'd like pick a guy and we'd just go beat the crap out of that guy as a team. <laughs> <sighs> Memories, huh? <laughs> Kicked ass at the father's some picnic, too. <laughs> we didn't win the Blue Ribbon, but... We have it in our possession. <laughs> I was a bad kid. I deserved the fight, though. Bad kid. Cops in my neighborhood knew me. Cops in my neighborhood had my dad on speed dial. Brr, Mr. Titus, yeah, do you have a federal mailbox in your living room? <laughs> no, we figured. Just leave the boy out front. We'll be by. <laughs> and I wasn't an evil kid. I just put a lot of pranks that happened to be felonies. <laughs> Anybody look back on their high school career and just shudder at the crap you got away with and didn't die? I remember going up Highway 1, Northern California, the Coast Highway, goes like this. We're over 100 miles an hour in Dwayne Olson's 69 Mustang Mach 1 428 Cobra Jet. And we are high. <laughs> high. I could no longer hold my body upright high. <laughs> and Beastie Boys, License to Ill, is playing at a soothing billion and five decibels. Yeah. Yeah. A bunch of California white boys singing, No Sleep Till Brooklyn. Yeah. We rock. I got the rear seat in the car. This is pathetic. I got the rear seat in the car laid down flat. I'm laying on my back looking out the window at the sky, just tripping on the sky and going by. And you have those moments of clarity when you're screwing up your life. I hear myself say out loud to my friends, Guys, man, there's a cloud up there that looks like an evil mouse snow skiing, man. <laughs> And 
And they were so high, they pulled over and got out to look at it. <laughs> Yearbook voted me most likely to be scraped from an off-ramp by a puking fireman. Because I was a kid in school whose friends would give him extra alcohol just to see what he was going to change into. <laughs> if we were driving around on a Saturday night, someone noticed a hotel roof within 50 feet of the hotel pool, they would just stop the car. <laughs> Hey, Titus, can you make that? <laughs> Two more beers. <laughs> I finally stopped drinking when I hit 17 years old. Yes. Hey, imagine the fuck up I must have been. Stop drinking because it's not really good for your health. And I fell into a bonfire. <laughs> yeah, you're done drinking then. You don't need AA. Falling into a bonfire is a one-step program. <laughs> Big, huge beach party, middle of the night, whole school's there, you know. Party's winding down, everybody's paired up except for loser moi. <laughs> and we're burning a telephone pole. <laughs> I don't know where we got a telephone pole. I do know it's pretty high up there on the drunk theft scale though. <laughs> and I'm walking on the bonfire, I get my feet caught in this blanket and I fall in and as I fall in, I'm so drunk, I actually think, who the hell brings a blanket to the beach? <laughs> and the flames are now right here. And I am aware, that's close to my face. <laughs> Then I see my hands on this burning ember, and I exclaim, ah! And Scott Carnathan gets up out of nowhere and does a full speed running, jumping, drunk Jackie Chan leap flip thing over me in the fire, grabs me, throws me into the sand, although my palms stayed right on the log. <laughs> then my drunk friends proceed to stomp me out. <laughs> hey man, you all right? Dude, get his hair, get his hair. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, man. <laughs> but you are wasted. <laughs> hey, sleep it off, man. You gotta drive to Taco Bell. <laughs> so by now the whole school has gathered around me because they've seen the steam rising from the beach. And then I'm gonna be the story to tell on Monday. You didn't believe Titus did, man. <laughs> And they know I need medical attention, but it's way too early to end this party. <laughs> Tony! Dude, man, uh, oh, man, go, oh, go to the ice chest and get Titus a cold beer for each hand. <laughs> Great, now they're performing drunk triage on me. <laughs> they take the offending blanket, put it over me, and just leave me there. And during the night, my hands were just burning up, so I just put them in the nice cold sand, you know? Then I walked out and put him in the nice, soothing salt water. <laughs> I pass at a shore level, waves lap against my head till morning. 6 a.m. in the morning. My friends wake me up and take me to this emergency center near the beach in Santa Cruz Emergency Center. It was like an emergency shed. There was a doctor, a weed whacker, and a fucking rake. <laughs> And my friends don't want to be involved with this, this dumbass ass thing that I did, or no, no, the story at all. So before they let me go in to get medical attention, they stopped me in the parking lot. Uh, Titus, dude, uh, uh, look, man, uh, shut up, I'm telling him. <laughs> uh, look, man, uh, oh, oh, we talked about it, and uh, uh, here's what happened. Uh, uh, you're a homeless guy, and we found you on the beach. <laughs> okay. I'm a 17-year-old burned-up homeless boy <laughs> with new Nikes wearing an alligator shirt. Okay. So I go in, and the doctor's pissed off. I'm not the first dumbass teenager he's met in his life, and I got like 12 beers in me from the night before. This man decides to shoot me full of painkiller. Yeah, nothing like that Demerol Budweiser cocktail to start the day. 
I was in this phase where everybody looked like a lizard for a while. Then and it was like this, this Stanley Kubrick, Charlie Brown cartoon, man, because everybody was spinning and going, la, 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 la. <laughs> And the doctor finally goes, what happened to you? <laughs> well, oh reptilian one. <laughs> I fell into the bathroom. <laughs> it's when you fell in, son, did you breathe in or did you scream? I screamed. <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> and instantly the dude's right in my face. He's right here. He's got my chin in his fist and he goes, good. Because if you had breathed in, son, guess what? The hot air and the flames would have collapsed your lungs and you would have died. <laughs> well, now you look like Jesus. <laughs> and Jesus, you need a Tic Tac. Then the man takes out the stiffest brush I have ever seen in my entire life. Don't push out on me now. <laughs> and this green soap, which I don't think it was soap, I think it was a piece of lava rock spray painted green with barnacles and glass stuck to it. And I have so much painkiller in me, I don't get to feel, but I get to see and hear. It's gonna hurt tomorrow, huh? <laughs> he bandages my hands, leaves the room, comes back 10 minutes later, said, I called your father. He said, get your ass home, quit being a wussy, and hung up. <laughs> so my Carolyn Lynn, Pat, fifth stepmother came to get me. And this is the worst trouble I'd been into up to this point in my life. I wasn't even supposed to be I, I, like out. I, I was always grounded. I went 60 miles to the beach, snuck out my window. So on the way home, my dad didn't even know I was gone until I got a phone call from the doctor. So on the way home, I'm so freaked out and drugged up in the car, I start leaving notes for other relatives. <laughs> I'm not in military school. Look for the body. <laughs> Ken Titus is the killer. <laughs> and we pull up in front of the house, my stepmom, you know, really helpful. You and your dad have a nice talk. I have something to do away. <laughs> I'm on the curb by myself. I got these big white boxing glove bandage hands on. Sand has been rammed into every orifice from lying on the beach all night. My hair is east and I'm high. <laughs> and the front door opens. <laughs> and my father had turned into the burning bush. But I was so pathetic looking, he couldn't hit me. I had gone one step beyond getting my ass kicked. <laughs> yes, he still snapped. He just, he opens the door and he goes, ah! off the coast. What the hell is that noise? You hear <laughs> and, I, and as I walked past him, his head just kept getting bigger and redder. I'm thinking, oh God, if he has a stroke, <laughs> I'm not grounded. 